2026, Tesla has just pulled the rug out from under the battery industry with a number that seems unbelievable. That's the confirmed price of the new aluminum ion battery that's causing executives worldwide to panic. It's no exaggeration. This price doesn't just represent savings. It dismantles the pricing logic the industry has upheld for over a decade. Tesla didn't just make an announcement. It redefined what's meant by energy affordability. And what's most impressive is that all of this is being produced on a real-world scale, not in a laboratory. In a world where technological promises often die in the prototype stage, Elon Musk has put a definitive price on something that, until recently, was just scientific speculation. The most absurd detail is that this price isn't a publicity stunt, but rather the result of a surgical effort to cut costs in every inch of the production chain. From recycled aluminum to internal transport by robots, everything was recalculated. And you know what's most curious? Other automakers continue to insist on lithium-based models, which are more expensive, slower to produce, and totally vulnerable to the instability of international markets. Tesla, meanwhile, cut out lithium, cobalt, nickel, and all the uncertainty that came with them. It's as if they said, you know what? Let's redesign everything from scratch. And they did. This new price point is also creating a new type of consumer. Previously, modern batteries with high energy density were restricted to premium cars or very expensive backup systems. Now, for less than $2,000, you can imagine this technology reaching millions of homes, popular cars, and even portable devices. Tesla broke the stigma that good batteries need to be expensive, and that changes the game forever. The goal is no longer to compete with what already exists. It's to make what already exists seem outdated. The psychology behind this number is as powerful as the technology itself. Setting the price at $1,999 is almost symbolic. It's a cut below the $2,000 mark, conveying the feeling that something unattainable has become accessible. It's the same impact seen when the first premium smartphones arrived for less than $1,000. The emotional value of an innovation is often in its price. And Elon Musk, who understands this like few others, knows that this number will resonate in consumers' minds as a personal victory. Competitors, on the other hand, are tied to supply chains that cost up to 10 times more per ton of raw material. While aluminum costs between use $85 and use $110 per ton, lithium can exceed use $20,000. This doesn't even take into account the environmental and geopolitical costs that come with mining lithium in unstable countries. Tesla solved this equation by using something that is already abundant, recyclable, and widely available in the United States. And that, frankly, is brilliant. This ingenuity lies not only in the choice of material, but in how it is treated. The new cathode composition eliminates complex thermal steps, saves energy in the process, and cuts out chemical additives that were previously indispensable. This means less production time, less equipment, less maintenance, and fewer failures. It's a cleaner, faster, and cheaper production chain. All of this converges to that magic number, U119999. The craziest thing is that, unlike other companies that promise aggressive prices only at stratospheric volumes, Tesla is already delivering this price from the very first batches. No, when we scale production, the price will drop here. The price has already dropped, and that shows the level of confidence the company has in its own manufacturing system. It's a direct message to the market. We're not testing. We're already doing it. Water TQ, what's happening inside the Gigafactory Nevada in 2026, seems like a scene from science fiction. Except it's real, and it's operating 24 hours a day. Tesla's new production line, dedicated exclusively to aluminum ion batteries, doesn't operate like a conventional factory. It behaves like a living system, adjusting, adapting, and responding in real time to every variation in demand, without stopping for a single second. 
While other automakers still face slowdowns and technical pauses for reconfiguration, Tesla simply ignores these limitations because its factory doesn't need to stop. Everything is automated, everything is orchestrated by artificial intelligence, and every part of the process is synchronized to the millisecond. What's most impressive is that this line was designed to be modular from the very first screw. In other words, if it becomes necessary to increase production capacity, a new module is simply attached, like adding a new piece to a Lego set. No need to shut down the entire factory for facility renovations. No weeks of transition. This model allows for scaling production without incurring time or cost penalties, giving Tesla a virtually unattainable advantage. Other factories in the sector are still stuck with rigid and expensive expansion plans. Tesla, once again, skipped that step. The drastic reduction in idle time is another point that clearly demonstrates this superiority. In conventional assembly lines, there is always downtime between operations. In Tesla's case, this interval plummeted from 19 minutes to just 90 seconds. This is not a small advance. It's an almost absurd leap. It means that there is practically no wasted time or space. The factory is always producing, always in motion, like a perfect and fluid machine. And anyone who understands industry knows time is literally money. Inside this factory, even internal transport is done by autonomous vehicles. Robots move parts between sectors with millimeter precision and constant speed. Nothing is piled up in dark corners waiting for someone to pick it up. Nothing sits idle waiting for a command. Everything has a precise time and place to happen. And this robotic punctuality reduces the internal logistics cost of each battery from $22 to less than $9. Sounds like magic? Maybe. But it's just engineering thought out to the smallest detail, as Elon Musk likes to do. Another vital aspect of this operation is Tesla's isolation from the uncertainties of the global market. By producing its own aluminum through partnerships with American recyclers and by manufacturing critical components internally, such as rails and joints, the company has reduced the risk of delays by 78%. This means that even if there is a global logistics crisis, the factory in Nevada continues to operate shielded from external turbulence. It is an industrial independence that few companies in the world have managed to achieve. This independence also translates into cost stability. While other automakers struggle month after month against price fluctuations in the international market, Tesla has stabilized its operations. And not only that, it uses waste from its own assembly line. Up to 78% of the machined aluminum is reused right there creating an almost closed and sustainable cycle. What would be waste anywhere else becomes raw material again here. Now that's thinking beyond the product. And if you think all this requires a gigantic space, you're wrong. The thermal management system allows for simultaneous layered assembly, doubling production without needing to expand the built area. It's as if the factory grows upwards without occupying more land. This not only reduces costs, but also drastically accelerates production cycles, a decisive factor when it comes to high demand and a quick response to the market. If the production numbers were already impressive, the final results of the line reveal something even more surprising, a structural efficiency never seen before. We're talking about a factory that delivers 100,000 batteries per month right from the start, with solid and contractually stipulated goals to reach half a million per month this year. None of this is empty promises. These are signed contracts, mobilized suppliers, and logistics operating at full capacity. Tesla didn't just dream big, it put everything into motion before the market even realized what was happening. And how did they achieve this? With a bold combination of technologies that rewrite the rules of automotive engineering, one of the highlights is the hybrid gigacasting system, which joins aluminum and steel in a single casting cycle, eliminating 43 welding points and increasing structural strength by 
Fewer failure points, faster production, a more solid structure, all in a single movement. This type of optimization not only accelerates the process, but also directly improves product quality. One of Tesla's obsessions from the beginning, but they didn't stop there. During molding, a groundbreaking system prints ultra-thin layers of wiring directly onto the part's structure. This reduces wire length by 62% and, incredibly, completely eliminates the need for technicians to manually install wires. In other words, what used to take hours and required specialized labor now happens automatically while the part is still hot. It's like sculpting electronics into the very soul of the car. And honestly, it's insanely ingenious. Another leap forward comes from the robotic arms operating on this line. They change tools in just six seconds, allowing the production of up to six different Model 2 variants without needing to pause or reconfigure the system. This means that the same factory floor can produce models with distinct designs, batteries, and finishes without losing a single minute. And if you add it all up, the total assembly time for a car has dropped from 10.5 hours to 3.9 hours. This isn't an improvement. This is a revolution. With this incredible efficiency, the factory will be able to produce 2.7 times more than the Fremont line in 2025. It's an exponential gain, and not just in speed. The automatic torque verification system, for example, eliminates almost all assembly errors related to screws. There are 97% fewer defects related to variations in tightening force. And as a consequence, less rework, less wasted time, more cars coming out ready and perfect on the other side of the line. And there's more. Tesla has integrated a new electrolyte injection system that simultaneously installs the cooling circuit. This eliminates an entire station on the line that was previously dedicated solely to the battery's thermal system. The result? Fewer steps, less space occupied, less chance of error, and a huge saving of time. Everything works like a Swiss watch, but with robots instead of hands. Furthermore, the factory orchestration software deserves special mention. It synchronizes everything. Robots, casting, internal transport. This ensures that each part arrives at exactly the right second it will be used, without being early or late. The level of control is so precise that wasted time between operations has practically disappeared, and every second saved here represents thousands of dollars saved per day. While the market is still trying to understand what happened, the big breakthrough is actually inside the cells. Tesla's aluminum ion battery technology is not just a replacement for lithium, it's a complete break with traditional chemistry. The mere fact that it eliminates cobalt, nickel, and lithium is already a remarkable feat. But what's most impressive is that it's also cheaper, more stable, and simpler to manufacture. The secret lies in the new cathode formulation, which requires fewer thermal steps and thus drastically reduces energy consumption during the manufacturing process. A radical cut in costs and a powerful environmental advantage. And as if eliminating expensive and controversial metals wasn't enough, Tesla also managed to remove chemical additives traditionally used to stabilize lithium batteries. We're talking about compounds that increased production costs and added risks of thermal instability. Tesla's new formula simply doesn't need them. This reduces the cost per unit by up to use $90 and, as a bonus, delivers a safer battery with less risk of overheating or explosion. And the key detail is that all of this was done with raw materials widely available in the United States a point that completely changes the geopolitical game. This aspect of international independence cannot be ignored. Aluminum, unlike lithium, does not depend on fragile agreements with unstable countries. The U.S. alone produces more than 900,000 tons of primary aluminum per year, guaranteeing domestic supply without exposing Tesla to external volatilities. This is productive autonomy on a national scale. 
something no other battery manufacturer had achieved. While the world worried about wars and sanctions affecting the price of lithium, Tesla already had a stable and recyclable solution being produced domestically. And speaking of recycling, Tesla has also redefined the material reuse cycle. Unlike traditional factories, which waste more than half of their machining waste, the Gigafactory Nevada manages to recover up to 78% of all discarded aluminum in the process itself. This is circular economy in practice, reducing environmental impact and reusing tons of material that would otherwise become industrial waste. It's a real saving that is directly reflected in the final cost of the battery and a huge differentiator for consumers who are truly concerned about sustainability. Another revolutionary point is the dry electrode system. Lithium production lines still use slurry coating processes, which require five to seven different industrial stations. Tesla has reduced this to just two with its dry electrode technology. This not only speeds up production, but also drastically cuts energy consumption and physical space in the factory. Fewer machines, less maintenance, less time spent. Each step that disappears is a layer of cost that goes away, and each layer eliminated brings the battery closer to the mythical US 199999. The internal circuitry was also optimized with surgical precision. Instead of relying on manual connections or complicated gluing, Tesla adopted a direct laser printing system on the cell. This reduced manual gluing processes by 96%, and drastically decreased points of failure. Fewer human steps mean fewer errors, more standardization, and less rework. And all of this contributes to a more robust, durable, and reliable battery, essential for vehicles, but also for residential and industrial energy solutions. There is also an almost invisible, yet crucial innovation, the new cell-to-pack compression system. It allows the same structure to produce three different battery sizes with the same set of tools. This means lower mold costs, shorter setup times, and greater production flexibility. Tesla can easily redirect production according to demand, whether for the Model 2, the Powerwall, or the Mega Pack Lite, all with the same equipment. Those who only look at the final price of the battery might be impressed, but they only understand the real impact when they delve into the cost structure behind the number. Tesla didn't just cut expenses, it eliminated intermediaries. The company vertically integrated almost the entire production chain, from aluminum refining to final assembly processes. This eliminated six to eight layers of margin that normally increase the cost of lithium batteries, resulting in an estimated 35% to 42% reduction in the total cost per unit. It's a complete dismantling of traditional industrial logic, and most incredibly, done intelligently, not blindly. The partnership with U.S. recycling companies, for example, has guaranteed Tesla access to more than 140,000 tons of industrial scrap per year. That's enough material to produce more than 3 million batteries without relying on mining or imports. And since this scrap already meets the required industrial standards, the processing cost is much lower. Tesla has transformed what others discard into high-quality raw material. This type of strategy shows why the company is light years ahead. It doesn't just think about the product, but about the entire surrounding structure. And it's not just raw materials. Tesla also produces parts internally, such as mounting rails, micro-molds, and precision components that previously depended on external suppliers. This has reduced the risk of delays by up to 78%, avoiding logistical bottlenecks that often paralyze entire factories. Production happens where the materials are, not on the other side of the world. This decision is not only economical, but also strategic. After all, in times of global instability, whoever controls their production chain holds the real power.